Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for January 22nd to the 28th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you like a person with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. All right, so we're gonna jump right in here. I don't take up too much of your time, Sagittarius. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at the day-to-day, -day, your love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges, and then the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going on my Sagittarius' romantic love life for January 22nd to the 28th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's deck one. What's going on my Sagittarius' romantic love life for January 22nd to the 28th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. That's deck two. What's going to happen my Sagittarius' romantic love life for January 22nd to the 28th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. See, that's deck three. Okay, so let's put these aside for now. And now let's lay down these cards. Okay, we got the Knight of Swords energy. We have the Temperance. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Page of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. Oh my goodness. Ending out the week with the Eight of Cups. Wow. We got the Ten of Swords. We got the Justice, we have the, the Queen of Cups. We have the Ace of Wands, the King of Cups, the World Card Energy. Oh my goodness, this is the overall outcome. Oh my God, wow. Okay, cross my fingers, I'll clarify everything. All right, <laughs> so far it's so good, okay. All right, so let's see at the bottom of the deck. So someone is thinking about you with the Four of Swords energy. You're really on someone's mind here. Let's go a little further. It looks like there's been something that's stuck here about the situation or a sacrifice needs to be made in a decision that's really been weighing on someone's mind about burdens, responsibilities, or just things have been weighing on them because of uh, the sense of trying to use their intuition or trying to gain knowledge about how to make this decision to gain clarity. Okay, so now let's... That was the overall of what's happening. Um, so let's see what's going to happen here for the weekly. So remember, this is the day today. So it's January 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, and 28th. Okay. And the blockage seems to be this week. There is some kind of new potential passionate energy coming in here. Ace of Wands. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We're going to have to see how it plays out in the reading. All right, so yeah, something's gonna come to the light about that, okay. That's what I heard. Okay, um, so the first day here, there's a lot of um, energy behind this. Knight of Swords is when something comes in fast, okay? So something's coming in fast here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy possibly could be the sign. And it's an abrupt decision. It's like almost like from, when I see the Knight of Swords, it's like the Scythe card energy for me for Lenormand. So there's an abrupt decision that's gonna be made here because someone's been patient here with the temperance. They want something to heal here with the temperance card energy, and there is this indecision happening here. So there's a person that really wants things to move along fast, okay? They're also with the Knight of Swords energy. Someone may say something harsh here, okay, with the Knight of Swords energy, and that's on the 22nd, so be aware of that because the Knight of Swords also can be when somebody's kind of like a little bit too raw in their words. Like, you know, you get the Queen of, of Swords, you get to the Queen, uh, King of of swords they're a little bit more political in what they say but the knight of, the knight of swords is they still haven't got the knack of it yet so sometimes the knight of swords can point to somebody seeing something that you know a little bit abruptly there maybe they didn't think before they talk there with the knight of swords energy they, they came at it very fast okay so let's let's see what it is okay so we see that there's now with the Lenormand with the Sun card energy, the Sun card could be saying, yes, there's an abrupt decision was made because somebody wanted to be happy, Sun card energy, or there was something revealing that happened through this abrupt decision. So you got some revealing information from this abrupt decision. Okay, so the temperance is saying, all right, I'm healing this situation. Okay, so now after this abrupt situation and things were revealed, the next day it's like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna dip my toe into this and I'm gonna see what's going on. I'm gonna to try to come from a grounded place in my emotions. And um, I do feel like some of you guys have some great things coming in here. 
even though it's going to take a little bit of time, it's, there's some great things coming in here. Um, so let's see what that temperance is about. So healing after some challenges here, snake card energy. And it looks like you're still being, the 24th, you'll still be in that indecisive mode here with the Two of Swords energy when it comes to a person. So we see revealing things about some challenges, lack of flexibility, or strong desires of a person, which is gonna leave you a little bit at a crossroads. I feel like for some of you, this person's kind of like coming on really strong, okay? That's what I feel like. And I feel like you guys are still like, um, you know, just maybe this, this is too much for me. And I'm indecisive about this. That may be also part of that, mm -hmm, that, that potential passionate energy coming in that you're kind of like unsure about, like, mm, I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. Yep, there's a sense of confusion about this strong energy coming at you. And you're kind of like, I need some time alone to really think about this because I don't know. Because this is a little bit too shocking for me. It's so surprising. This person's coming on really, really strong here. Okay. And then we see Page of Wands. Uh, it looks like on the 25th, right? Um, Sagittarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. It looks like there's going to be some flirt, flirting going on, uh, some exploratory things passionately there. Okay, with the Page of Wands energy. And we see there is some sense of love here, potential for love with the Ace of Cups energy. And we see that you're like, okay, I, I think I'll be patient here. Maybe this I can grow some more feelings for this person. You know, let's see what happens, um, and I'll be patient. So we see that there's some slow walking going on, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy on the 26th. I'm gonna take things slow. I'm gonna kind of analyze the situation. Um, yeah, coffin card for me is like when someone takes a break and stops or completes something, right? Okay, and because they're single and available to pursue, okay? So you're a little bit trapped in your thoughts. You have a sense that your back's against the wall around this situation because you're still trying to gain some knowledge about what to do about it with the book card energy and how to bring things into balance with your situation with the balance card energy. So we see there's a sense of confusion. I really want to take some time for myself because this is a little bit shocking and surprising. I really need somebody to be patient with me. You know, I know they're single and available to pursue, or I want to isolate myself in the situation until I'm really completely into balance or until I can bring things into balance. And then we see for some of you, this may be a completely different offer here, Ace of Cups energy, possibly new love for some of you, Ace of Cups energy, or this is your true love, your new love, Ace of Cups energy. Tree card energy is saying that there is um, some healing here or this has been taking some time and you're going to gain knowledge about this book card energy it seems like this is the week for it my goodness so many signs so far are getting some kind of thing that they didn't know about and now they're going to know about okay so confusion and isolation and separation something shocking and surprising you're trying to be patient are they single and available to pursue or you you you're like all right i need to be you know isolated and separated from the situation or i need to be single and available to pursue and i need to bring things into balance so i can gain knowledge okay Okay, going further. Uh, there's a sense of happiness or something that's going to be revealed about uh, jealousy or um, strong desires of a person and love. You are wanting to take a break and stop or complete so you can gain knowledge and give this some time to grow. Okay, so, and I do feel like someone here is really coming on too strong. You may have two different options here for some of you that maybe you're indecisive about, possibly Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, that's possible, two people, or, uh, or Gemini, Libra, Christ energy, it could be three people for some of you, or it could be just two people and you're kind of slow walking things because you're kind of like, mm, I'm kind of, kind of stuck in my thoughts about the sense of love here. Okay, so yeah, someone's coming on really strong, you're trying to heal from this indecision or you're trying to be patient here for things coming to balance with your emotions and you're indecisive about this, and it looks like this person's trying to flirt with you and you're like, no, I want to take my time, Nine of Pentacles energy, because I'm a little bit trapped in this situation when it comes to this opportunity of love that's coming at me really fast. Because if we go here, fast energy, flirty energy with this opportunity of true love. Okay. So let's see how your love interest feels about you. Whoever you're here for, whoever you want to know about. I do have an extensive reading on the feelings if you want to check that out after this. It's up and available right now. Okay, so... It looks like this, this person really felt hurt and they feel like they want to make a decision because they want love and devotion. This person really wants to um, have some actions here because of this isolation separation here 
So they may reach out to you with a text message letter or document. This person wants an opportunity here with the key card energy to be honest with you about things uh, when it comes to their regrets, or they want an opportunity to talk about some of these deceptions and they feel regretful about it. Okay, so let's now take a look at the blockage here, Sagittarius. So you get Ace of Wands energy, we got the Fish card energy, and we got the Friends card. So, oh man, there's a lot of emotions at play. We saw the Temperance card, yes, some things emotionally are still not in balance there. Um, or this situation is involving um, work related because fish can represent money and finance and ace of wands can be, you know, some kind of opportunity that you have and passions, creativity. And also this person could be a friend also, or people are getting involved with the situation and um, maybe causing some infringing uh, situations when it comes to this connection. Um, also, it's like, is there really, a, is this going to be a person that, that, you know, is going to have emotions for me or is this going to be just passionate? Okay, so look at these wonderful cards for the outcome, okay? Wonderful cards, yes, this is amazing. This is actually more, this is better than wonderful, this is amazing. This outcome is, this overall outcome is amazing, okay? So, King of Cups, I mean, this is like good news, good news, good news, okay? King of Cups, the world card, the magician. I mean, wow, those cards are amazing. And the ending day was the 28th, seeing that there was an offer of love, Ace of Cups energy. So we see that there's love here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and now you're completing a cycle and you've manifested some great things here with the magician card energy, and now you have everything you need, an ideal situation. Okay, so we see the cross card, we see the birds card, and we see the clover card, and we see this uncertainty about this other person, ex-partner, and chemistry and passion, which we saw. They're like, I'm trying to rush in. I'm trying to rush in, right? So there's burdens and challenges, and your guys are going to have a conversation with this person about a reconciliation. I want to make the best decision when it comes to love, and this person's reaching out to you because of the fact that they have uncertainty about where they stand because there's concern about another person. There's, so they're gonna have a conversation so things can come full circle because there's a lot of chemistry and passion here in this connection. Okay, so they're very, very obsessive and they want a decision from you and they want you to cut away unhealthy things from the past, okay? This person may be a person you've dealt with before because they've got the judgment card energy. There's a reconciliation or wanting things to rule in their favor because they're defeated here about being left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles energy. There's been stress and anxiety going on about house and family or stability and stableness and a decision that needs to be made. And then going further, I want an offer, an offer, a huge offer to you that I've been thinking about because I'm really obsessive. This person is really obsessive. Now, I feel like that Knight of Swords is the person that's really obsessive and that wants things to move forward and you have all the power here in making this decision because they want it to go fast, okay? Their concern is there's another person involved in the situation and you're at a crossroads about what to do and they have uncertainty where they stand and they're obsessing about this. They want you to make a decision because they have strong passion and chemistry and they have a sense you're gonna leave them out in the cold. And for some of you, this could have been someone you had dealt with before because we have the clover card energy. So they're ready to offer you something huge here with the of pentacles energy and you're going to have to deeply think about this they're very obsessive here with the devil card energy so we see you're going to overcome your challenges here because they're going to speak their truth about marriage and long-term commitment hierophant card energy oh, oh my god oh my god <laughs> oh my god sagittarius what kind of readings do we got going on this week wow what is going on okay yeah guys i want to hear from you guys in the comments below i do read my comments i read my comments guys do i respond to everybody no i can't respond to everybody do i read my comments yes i love hearing from you guys so i definitely want to hear from you guys in the comments below and if you guys liked it hit that like button let me know in the comments below i will see you guys in another date or two with the next two weeks which will cover anyone who is in um in a relationship or dating um, and then also I do a separate read for singles. So that's all in one read. So you guys will find that one out tomorrow or the next day. It's in a day or two. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon. Wow. What a reading. What a reading. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> love you guys so much.